So this will be a demo of how to create a simple HTML macro in QuickUI. By HTML macro, I mean a package of uh, HTML DOM elements and CSS that are going to travel together in a single uh, QuickUI control that can be reused. Let's imagine that we have a web page, very simple page, and we have an element here, uh, the name of a company, and we want to turn that into a logo that can be reused uh, multiple times. Uh, traditionally, this would be done maybe with an image, and you'd have images of different sizes. Uh, with HTML5 and CSS3, the sort of movement is towards building those as assets in HTML and CSS that can be reused. So let's build a reusable HTML macro in the QuickUI framework. I've got here a empty control called logo, and we're going to create two parts to this control, the content and then the style information. The content will be the HTML and the other quick UI controls that we want to use. Here it's going to be quite simple. We'll have uh, two spans. Um, do that in two parts. Maybe the first part of the name and the second part. And then we're going to create some style information to style the content. We'll have uh, first a general style rule that'll apply to the whole control. We'll indicate that we want this to be an inline element and that we want to uh, give it a particular font and weight. And now we want to style the two spans. So the first, we'll pick a color. a different color for the second part and that's going to be our logo and we'll drop that into a separate uh, quick UI control this is the control for the overall page and here we have HTML and we're gonna replace this static text with an instance of our logo control and we'll do the same thing for this other instance here we'll save that Go over to the browser and refresh, and then we have our quick UI HTML macro, a combination of DOM elements and styling uh, repeated both in the header tag and down here in the body. If we take a look at the page DOM in Firebug, we see that we have <clears throat> two complete instances. Here's the first div for the first instance of the control, and here's the second one. Both have a complete copy of the DOM. If we look at the style information, uh, all the style information is applied as expected to both instances. So with this control in hand, we can then, we now have this reusable piece, so we can change that. And when we change it, uh, change the definition, it'll be changed in all the places where that control appears. If we add, say, a trademark symbol to this logo and then refresh, we'll see that that change gets applied everywhere the control is used.